All right, welcome to a video on how to create a classic Google site from your iPad. Now, to be honest, it is a little bit more tricky um, and difficult to do on the iPad, but it can be done. So simply go to Safari and go to the website sites.google.com. Again, that is sites, S-I-T-E-S, dot google dot com and you're going to sign in um, to google and when you're signed in it's going to take you to this page here now your page may be blank i've been playing around and i've created some websites in the past so websites that you create or that are shared with you um, by somebody else will be listed here um, so what you're going to do is we're going to create a website so click on that red create button now you're going to choose blank template um, only because the blank templates are a little easier to use on the iPad than the ones that are in the gallery. You are going to name your website. So you want to think of a website um, that is catchy but also pertains to the topic that you are writing about. I'm going to call mine making... Oops. Making a website on iPad, on an iPad, on a iPad, on. There we go. So make sure you have your capitalization, punctuate, punctuation, and all that and so forth. Then what you're going to do is you're going to select a theme. So if you scroll down a little bit further and say select theme, you have some themes um, generic themes that you can choose from. So feel free to choose from any of the ones that you see here. Alright, once you have found one that you like, simply click on it. And then up at the top, say Create. Alright, so once you are in, it takes you to your home page. Now your home page is very important because your home page is the first page anybody would see um, for your website. This is the page of your website that gives the information about what your website is about, why is it important, and the navigation to get to the other information that a user or viewer would need. So you got the title up here at the top, you have home um, in the white area, and then you also see on the small box on the left hand side this is your site map. Um, so as you build pages those pages will be listed there. So a person viewing your website can navigate from home to page two, page three, page four, and so on. So to start editing your web page, click on the pencil in the upper menu bar, and then you will see the editor tool. Very, very familiar, very um, Google Doc-ish, so everybody should be comfortable with that. And here you can customize the text, the fonts, you can bullet, italicize, hyperlink, all that great stuff right here with using the editor tool. Now on your home page, completely up to you, but if you choose layout, you can choose the style of layout you would like for your home page to be. So you have some options here, you can kind of tinker around with them. Um, as you see fit, I'm going to go with the two column look for simplicity's sake. Um, in the one box I can type my welcome message and what my website is about. So again very important that you inform the reader why they're visiting your web page, why is it important for them to want to read your web page. So you can fill out all that information there. A helpful hint though is to go ahead and type up the information you want on every page of your website. Go ahead and type that up right now in a Google Doc. So that way, all you have to do is copy and paste. You're not having to type and go, type and go, type and go. So you can put it in a Google Doc, check your spelling, check your grammar, make sure everything looks great, and then just copy and paste it to your Google site. And then you can kind of format it however you need to there. So again, you can put your welcome message in. The other nice thing I like is you can insert an image. 
So we're going to insert an image here. Now the images do have to be saved to your iPad. So we're going to say upload images. We're going to go to photo library. And we are going to select an image in our camera roll. So for example, if I want this image here, just check on it, click done, it'll upload. And then just click on OK. Now what you'll notice is the image is huge. When that happens, you'll get this little dialog box that pops up here, up here at the top, and this is where you can change the size of your image, small, medium, large, however you need it to be. You can text wrap it, you can center it, um, a couple different options you can do there. Now obviously, it kind of put it in the wrong box. I don't want it in this box. I want one side to be my information, another side to be a picture. So what I can do is I can click on the image and I can drag it over to the other side. Now dragging it to the other side may cause it to reformat. So if that happens, simply click on the image again to access the dialog box. There we go. Kind of hides on you there. Format however you want it to format, and then click Save in the upper right-hand corner. Um, Google normally saves every little thing you do, and it does do it for sites. However, it is very important that you go ahead and click that Save button just to guarantee that the changes you are doing are showing up. One of the nice things is you can also preview what your website looks like to the outside viewer by clicking on that gear and saying preview page as viewer. So you can see if there's anything that might look funny. So for example, my picture's not showing up very well. So I know that I need to go back in and maybe take a look as to why my image is not showing up. Just hit your back button and it takes you back into edit mode. Click on your pencil. Like I said, you may have to change your image. You may have to just upload a brand new image, delete the image. I'm not sure what's happening, happening there, but things like this can happen. All right, so you got your home page. So once you have your home page set up and looking how you want it, you need to add a second page. So your second page is going to have more information on it. So if you're writing a for or against web page, this might be the page about the for or against or so on and so forth. So you want to put layers into your web page and having other pages kind of helps do that. So each page can be something else that goes along with the topic of what your page is about. So click on the add button here to add a new page. Give your page a name. Um, for example sake, I'm just gonna say page two. Leave it as a web page. Now, you'll see that there is a location um, button here. So you want to put your web page in an order that you want it to be viewed. So your home page is first followed by the next page and the next page and the next page. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and say put it under home, but I can show you later how to change that um, format. But go ahead and click create. And it creates your page two. So you'll notice on the left hand side here, you have home, page two, sitemap. So again, this is the order of your web page. So the reader can go home to their home page, click on page two to go to page two, page three and page four, so on and so forth. Again, set up your layout however you would like your layout to be. You can change your font, you can change your text, all that great stuff. Again, I recommend that you type it out in a Google Doc first and then copy and paste it over just to kind of save on some time there. Alright, so once your web page is finished and completed, again, make sure you go and preview what your web page looks like by clicking on the gear 
and choosing preview page as a viewer. That way you can see any kind of glaring issues that might come up if somebody was looking at your web page. If you are sharing your web page, if you're working with a partner, this is where you would go down and change your sharing and permissions to share with um, a partner by adding their email address or name there at the bottom. Um, but when you're ready to publish it, you're ready, it's, it's done, you're ready to show it to your teacher, and you're ready to show it to all your classmates, and you're, you are ready to go. Click on the share button. What you'll need to do is you'll see who has access. So you'll see your name, but above it you'll see Lexington County School District 1. Anyone can find and edit. You don't want everybody editing your web page. That's a no-no. So what you want to do is you want to click on change. Say anyone at Lexington School District 1. Um, the first button here. But then change it down here where it says anyone can edit. Change that edit to view. So this way it only makes it so you can edit your page. Not everybody out there in the district. Once you have that, click saved. And then you're going to want to copy and paste this URL. And we are going to, you're going to copy and paste it to where your teacher needs you to copy and paste it to publish it. So be on the lookout for those directions. I hope you enjoy making a Google site and I look forward to seeing what you create. Let me know if you have any questions.